Good morning everybody and this is your Euro USD setups for today. So uh, last week was pretty much onwards and upwards, a nice juicy solid green bar which closed above the 150 EMA, crossover of the oscillators here pointing up. So um, yeah, we're in a zone of uh, potential resistance but uh, for me this is something we need to pay very close attention to because it is looking like a half decent setup for a move to the upside still going to be difficult just based on all these highs of last year but nevertheless when we get down to the lower time frames which we're looking to trade you just need to trade it one day at a time so this is what we're going to try and be doing so first things first uh, We have some structure here. If you just look left, you can see quite a bit of structure in this area. I don't see anything else that I need to be wary of. Uh, obviously, there is some structure below, so let's just do that. That gives me my zone. One more. Okay, there we go. So just have a look at price action firstly. We broke through the moving averages early in the week and we continued to the upside. Quite nice. We were looking for opportunity to buy. So quite a few nice trades that we picked up last week. Now we are extended. We are overbought. We've got a bit of chaos at the top of the move here, which is indicating some kind of uh, either sideways movement or a bit of a move to the downside. So if you look at this, where we are now, it's... The big logical zone here at 108.884. Look left, you see that um, neckline of uh, inver oh, sorry, no, yeah, inverse head and shoulder. So there's a shoulder, there's a head, and there's a shoulder. So uh, pretty much a very important area. It's also back towards the moving averages, which is where you would be buying off. So the minute we start going through the time frames, three hour, Going a bit parabolic, so obviously this uh, makes sense that you're just sitting up here, just chilling, and uh, moving averages just e sorry the oscillators easing off quite nicely. So uh, this is setting up for a, another buying opportunity. Look at the hour. So Friday was chaotic. It was chaotic on everything, but um, this was a zone to buy on Friday, but it sort of came back in. <coughs> and just destroyed everything. So I would still be paying attention to 109.241 and 109.153. Definitely something you need to be paying attention to there. Um, if we drop to the 15 minute, have a look at this sideways, sideways, big up, big down, and uh, no real idea of what's going on. Look at the oscillators here all over the place, price sideways. So I'd be very cautious of just jumping in. I think longs will come in from 109.445. So you want to see price come back above there, find a base, and then get in. Otherwise, we're going to be drifting lower, and then your buying opportunity is going to be a little bit lower. So this would be a decent area for me at 109.153. That would be a half decent area to buy. But just based on what happened on Friday, you can see big down, big up, big down. I'd be a little bit cautious of just jumping in um, and also you know coming to test this area that's sort of testing the lower Friday which is possible I think it's impossible so that's something that you could be paying attention to but I think I'd rather be paying attention to for a break of 109.445 break retest I'm looking for another move up uh, rather than looking to buy lower down Okay, so that's kind of my view at the moment. It's a very cautious, cautious look, and I'm definitely not just going to jump in. So we will watch this like a hawk. If uh, we get a decent break up here, that's going to be our opportunity. If we start dropping below uh, 109 I'm not looking for shorts because I would expect it to find support at 109.241, 109.153 area. And just below 109.53, look at all this potential support as well. So that's kind of my view at the moment. Um, I think I'd rather trade a break and, and retest of the structure that's forming rather than look for an opportunity lower down. 
Okay. Anyway, that's kind of my view for today. I hope it helps, and uh, we'll catch up with you tomorrow morning. Cheers for now.